There was an artist in Arizona who decided to um, make a billboard, uh, one that is a very political one and one that is anti-Trump. And as a result of that, she is now receiving death threats. So here's what Ross Story says. The artist behind an Arizona billboard attacking President Donald Trump claims she is now the subject of death threats after news and photos of her creation went national. According to AZ Central, artist Karen Fiorito knew she would get a strong reaction for her work, which went up on Friday um, and depicts Trump accompanied by mushroom clouds and sty stylized um, <coughs> Nazi sw swastikas combined with dollar signs. On the reverse side, the billboard displays the word unity with five hands spelling out the word in sign language. While Fiorita expected flack, she didn't anticipate the flood of threats against not only herself but her family. So, um, I don't know what to tell you guys, like, people say that the right has never been violent or any of this stuff. I, I mean, it happens on both sides, I mean, let's be honest here. But, I think that these situations are extremely ridiculous and stupid. Uh, I've been called a communist, a Satan worshiper, Fury to explain. I've been told I'm a very, very sick person. I'm not sure what that means. I haven't been answering the phone. My husband has because he's not afraid to talk to anyone. But he told me he received a couple death threats this morning. He said they were coming to get us with their boys. Yikes, dude. Yikes. Who's about censorship? I mean, these are the same people crying about Milo Yiannopoulos being banned on Twitter for defaming uh, Leslie Jones and making up quotes. <coughs> I don't know what to tell you. These alt writers are absolutely out of their mind. They're fucking crazy. They're idiots. And time will be the death of these alt right idiots for sure. I absolutely guarantee it. Uh, Fiorita explained that she was commissioned by a local art gallery to create the artwork that was blown up to billboard size and displayed in downtown Phoenix during an art festival. Billboards are perfect because you don't have to go to a gallery to see it, she said. You're creating a dialogue with the public. You're reaching people you'd never reach with your artwork. Um, Fiorito added this, that this is not the first time she has been threatened over her artwork and had created a billboard in two, 2004 attacking President George W. Bush's re-election and calling him a liar. I've had people tell me they're going to come rape me and kill me. Yikes, that is fucking rough. But this seems like a dedicated person, someone who knows... Uh, who's on the right side of politics in general, and Trump is a douchebag, and all you alt-right fucks who are sending death threats are also fucktards. What's up, guys? It's Saul Hill here. You guys are watching the Progressive Voice. Make sure you guys click subscribe down below. We're fighting Donald Trump tooth and nail, and we need your help.